Hello, you guys. Hold on. That AC is super loud. And it is really, really bright in my car. Um, for some reason, it looked like there was a person back there. <sighs> Anyways, as of today, today's Tuesday, the what? 12th. I am 16 and a half weeks out plus a day from border states. Everything's feeling good. Um, I'm loving my workouts. I am still actually pretty heavy. Hold on. I'm going to put sunglasses on because for some reason it's really bright out here. Um, but my weight is still up. I weighed in this morning at 133. Uh, my lowest weight so far has been 131, um, and I started dieting at like 134, I think, something like that. Um, so I haven't really lost a lot of weight. Uh, I started dieting at like 20 weeks out, and calories are pretty low, but cardio is also low, no fat burners or anything. Um, so... Yeah, I still get a cheat meal, like a refeed day, plus a cheat meal replacing my last meal. So I have one day where I'm having like a lot of calories. Um, but anyways, I wanted to do another part of my Q&A. Um, I got through, I think, like five or six questions last time. So I'm going to do another like five or six. Um, so yeah enjoy some of my training. I don't think I got a um, hike in this last week. Um, Tony and I have been actually really busy with some stuff, so but I should have a hike in next week. So enjoy that and then we'll get to the Q&A. If I see it, then I got it All I gotta do is snatch it I know boom, I know bap I know flow, Bo Jackson Competition, I'm addicted I'm a victory addict If I'm living, then I'm winning It's a positive habit I talk like a man, but I rap like I'm ratchet And I walk soft, but I carry a big stick Bastard I try to do good and stay away from evil Work my hands to the bones And take care of my people Honest decisions in your heart, life, and it's gonna work. Life, I wanna be, 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 life, I'll never, ever change. Try to do good, do good, do good, do good, do good, do good, work my hands to the bones, take care of my people, am I doing it right? Am I doing it right? I wanted to have some kind of recipe to share with everybody, but I don't know. Like, there is no recipe. It's honest decisions. It's honest decisions in your stomach. It's honest decisions in your heart. It's honest decisions across the board, and it's gonna work. I try to do good and stay away from evil. Work my hands to the bones and take care of my people. Am I doing it right? Am I doing it right? I'm just living my life Am I doing it right? I try to do good and stay away from evil Work my hands to the bones and take care of my people I'm just living my life Life Secretly I want to be king My name in life Take all the reins I don't need to thank you just give me the gold. Life. Of course it's easy. I paved this road. Life. Murdered this shit. Yes. Did it right. Life. Okay, so a question I got was like, how how do you schedule your eating? Is there a better schedule for that? So we'll go ahead and clump these two: an eating schedule, and is it bad to eat late at night? Um. 
as for eating schedule like a lot of these questions it kind of just depends you have to make it work for you um, I like to eat often throughout the day and I just take the amount of meals that I'm allowed to have so right now it's five meals and I divide that pretty evenly throughout my day I personally like to have more of my food later on in the day so I space out my my like first couple of meals by quite a few hours and then my last few meals are like two hours of, apart um, just because I'm busy at the beginning of the day so I'm okay with dealing with being hungry but later on in the day I generally am like calming down with like work stuff and just kind of sitting around and so oh my gosh I've had the heater on no wonder I'm freaking roasting anyways later in the day I'll get bored and guess what you do when you're bored you want to eat so that's why I space out my meals the way I do so um, later on in the day they're about two hours apart where at the beginning of the day they could be like anywhere from three to five hours um, I just make it work for me and so that's kind of what you have to do and then is it bad to eat late at night no I used to think that but it doesn't really matter if your goal is to lose weight then as long as your total calories for the day are in a deficit then you should you should lose weight um, and then if your total calories are in a surplus surplus then you're gonna gain weight um, obviously you there, there's like that fine line of not eating enough and even though you are technically in a deficit you cannot lose weight so I would definitely recommend hiring a coach to help you figure out those numbers for you um, as you guys may know I do nutrition for clients um, and I'm taking on new clients so email me if you have any questions or if you're interested in doing nutrition um, rest time between exercises this also varies um, depending on what kind of workout you have for like heavier lifts um, so like when I'm getting ready for a powerlifting meet and I'm doing like singles doubles or triples but it's like really heavy loads then I will rest generally three minutes but I would say like three to five minutes is good um, but I mean, I kind of just go when I feel like I'm ready to go again. But sometimes I will set a timer for three minutes if I am talking too much or scrolling through Instagram too much and I kind of lose track of time. Um, and then if I'm doing like supersets, obviously there's no rest. You just go from one exercise to the other. And then if it is like lighter exercises, say you're doing like a squat of like an RPE six to seven, then you can generally rest for about a minute and then hop right back into another set. So it really just depends on the load that you're using um, and just depends on if you're ready to go again. You could test this out and like say you rest for two minutes and then you go again but you can't get all the reps you needed, then you know that you need a little bit longer than two minutes to rest. Um, so, yes. What else? Is it better to train individual muscle groups or total body? So this all depends on your goal and it also depends on how much time you have um, to dedicate to that workout at, like, at that time. Um, and also depends on your equipment. So like if you're just at home with no really no equipment then obviously total body will probably be your best bet because that's all you have to use is your body um, I know bodybuilders generally will do individual muscle groups but the more I learn about training it's it's better to I guess not have individual muscle groups like training back training chest arms legs because you can't get the frequency, the training frequency within the week. 
So for me, I kind of have like an upper and lower split. So I, yes, it's it's like individual because like I'll do like just lower or just upper, but I'm able to train each upper or lower about like two to three times a week. Um, so it really just depends on your goals and your time and what works best for you. Um, so I hope that answered that question. What else? Where are we at with time? Okay. Um, does training differ when I bodybuild versus powerlift? So my training does differ mainly because I'm going from a strength phase to a hypertrophy phase. So like the sets and reps and actual volume changes, I think. Volume might not be the right word. So I'll say sets and reps change. And then obviously like when I'm getting ready for bodybuilding, I do a lot more cardio and a lot more like supersets and everything like that. Um, and it's okay to use more variations from the like main lifts, squat, bench, and deadlift, where when I'm getting ready for a powerlifting meet, I have to keep those in. Um, so obviously those are my the competition lifts. Um, but other than that, it doesn't really change. I know last year when I was getting ready for my for my my shows, I was posting all my squat benches and deadlifts on my Instagram. I'm having a hard time seeing myself. Meh. Um, and people were like, "Hey, when are you gonna start bodybuilding?" And I was bodybuilding. I, was, I just. I still am gonna do my main movements and still lift relatively heavy um, because like what helped me gain the muscle mass is also going to help me maintain it. So I don't really wanna change up my training when I go into bodybuilding because I, I still wanna maintain my muscle. So I'm not just gonna go to lightweight high reps. Um, yes, my reps will be higher, but my weight is still going to be pretty high. So, yes. Um, let's go ahead and do one more question. Where are we at? Okay. What do my macros look like? Okay. So my macros are most likely going to be way lower than any of you guys watching, for the most part. I'm a small girl, and I just need to eat little food to be able to get lean. Um... So as of right now, I, I have three days of macros. I have a rest day, a training day, and a refeed day. And my rest day, I eat, what, 100 grams of protein, and then I think 50 grams of carbs, and either 14 or 21 grams of fat. So I think it's like, seven to eight hundred calories I also don't count like the trace calories or trace macros so that's just how I do it so it probably is closer to a thousand calories but like with bread it has um, carbs protein and fat and I only count the carbs from that so there's obviously more calories that I'm not tracking um, and then my training days are about the same amount of protein. I think it's like 105 grams of protein, 115 grams of carbs, and like 21 grams of fat. And then my refeed day, zero fat. Um, I think it's 100 grams of protein and like 450 grams of carbs. Plus I have a cheat meal. So there does end up being a lot of fat, but like the actual part that I have to track, there is no added fat. So those are my macros. And I'll probably talk more about like my food um, in another video because I'm running short on time but that will be it for today and yeah I hope you liked the video please give it a thumbs up and if you aren't subscribed I would love it if you did subscribe have a good one you guys bye